What are you missing out in your life that's keeping you from fully being present and fully being available to the people around you? To be honest, I can get so busy with life that even though I'm on vacation, which I am this week, I'm really not there. I'm thinking of all the things I ought to do, all the things that I should have done before I left and didn't get done, like say this YouTube video. But as I was laying in bed this morning and just thinking through the privilege that I have to be surrounded by family, to have this opportunity to come away to our church family camp and really plug into the Lord, I realized that I still wasn't fully present. And so this week, I've determined to unplug my phone so that I can plug into the things that really matter. That's harder said than done. I remember thinking that I never needed a cell phone. I thought that was just crazy to always have a phone with you. And yet here I am 10 years later, well, can I be honest, addicted to being connected. And in my addiction to connection, I'm missing out on the connection that really matters. Oh, I'm up on the news. I know what people are doing on social media, but am I really fully present for the people in front of me? So this week I've determined to unplug from my phone so that I can plug in to the people that really matter, to the life that I've been given. Now I know that's easier said than done. So for me, I've been slowly weaning myself off of my phone, leaving it in the trailer while I'm with other people. I'm letting them do the pictures. I'm letting them record the videos because I want to be fully present for those grandchildren that are in front of me. I want to be fully present for those campfire talks and most of all, for those altar times and just spending time with Jesus. So what would it take for you to unplug from virtual reality so that you could really plug in to the life that's right there in front of you? I wanna encourage you to do a few things. Number one, just go outside and pause for a moment. Just let the sunshine warm your face. Look at that grass and the intricate design of that flower. Take a deep breath and just pause and thank God for the life you have. Because so many times we can miss the very blessings of God that are all around us. Let's not wake up one day realizing that in chasing the life we thought we wanted, we missed the life that we already have. Let's unplug so that we can plug in plug into Jesus, plug into our family, plug into the beautiful world that the Lord has created for us. I hope you'll join me for an unplugged summer so that we can fully drink in the blessings that God has already placed in our hands.